Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. AMC stock is down about 0.8%. The Russell 2000 is actually soaring higher. This continues this rally that we have seen for the Russell. All in all, you've rallied about 10% from the lows that we just seen back in late October. So it's been one heck of a rally so far. I think there's a much bigger rally to come. We'll ultimately see this will start to have a positive effect on AMC stock, in my personal opinion. Keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a financial planner. But here in this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know on our markets as well as AMC stock today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comments section. And Let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, again, AMC stock is down about 0.8%. I think a lot of this right now is just people don't really have a reason uh, to be buying AMC stock besides the simple fact of rates going lower just benefits indebted, indebted companies, companies that need to raise capital. It's not like we have a strong film slate. The films that are going to theaters lately, like the Marvel film is, well, not doing great. AMC has dilution they've uh, hopefully already diluted shareholders maybe it's a process and that's why we're red that that could be a reason that would make some sense to me but there's just not a lot of things going right right now for amc obviously earnings were great the writer actor strike has ended i think those things will continue to be positive but here in the very short term the next couple of weeks there's just nothing that has been positive. And the last uh, you know, week or so, we've we've gotten dilution and, and, and we've gotten um just negative things for AMC. So I think that takes a while to play out here, but I do think you've exhausted that downside. You're currently at seven dollars thirty-three cents per share. Your low was back here on September eleventh at seven dollars seven dollars five cents per share. I I don't think you break under that low. If you do, then you could go to five dollars per share. Like under seven, you pretty quickly could head to five in my personal opinion. I don't think that's going to happen. That's just my personal opinion. If you look at the RSI, that is at 33.02. So you're already basically oversold and your MACD is short-term bearish as well. So I just wanted to give some of my opinions. I think the drop in yields, um, on your long-term treasuries are really not having an effect on AMC stock as of right now. And I think once there is a little bit more negativity around AMC stock, a little bit more positivity with AMC, then that will probably help out the stock even more. Yields today falling about 1.5%, 10-year treasury yields at 4.43%. This is down, what, like 60 six basis points from that five percent high that we seen so that has been uh good news and continues to be good news now what's actually causing yields to fall a little bit today is probably this data that we're seeing here so building permits for october came in at 1.487 million the estimate was 1.45 million so this just means there's more building that might take place right a lot of this is going to be housing so we have a chronic lack of housing the reason we still have inflation in, in in housing is because there's way too many people way too few houses that are actually available to rent to buy anything there's just not enough homes out there uh considering even all of the immigration we've seen over the past couple of years that just makes the problem even worse than we can quantify because we can't quantify how many people have come into this country so anyone that thinks real estate's gonna fall a lot or go through some kind of crash it's not gonna happen buddy it's just not going to happen Un unless you see infl uh, unless you see unemployment just go crazy high and we go into a deep recession. I, I don't expect a big pullback um, for housing. I think right now is actually a good time to be buying uh, some more houses. And that is exactly what I am doing now. We heard from a couple Fed speakers as well. They didn't have the greatest things to say, especially Fed Collins says more rate hikes can't be taken off the table. And I think they're just, uh, you know, jawboning here trying to leave their options open. Although I think Nobody else on the Fed has her opinions or, or, or shares her opinions. Boston 
Federal Reserve President Susan Collins said Friday that more interest rate hikes could be needed to bring down inflation. Inflation reports this week showed a slowing stance slowing pace in both consumer and producer prices. However, Collins said recent data has been noisy. Quote, I understand the tendency to really enjoy good news, and there's some good news in some of the numbers, and I think that we need to appreciate that, but I don't see additional firming uh, off the table, the central bank official told CNBC Steve Steve Leisman during a Squawk on the Street interview. I think the key point is we really need to stay the course. And she says, quote, we need to look at we need to look holistically at the data, she said. So there has been promising news, which is great. But I remain focused on looking uh, at the kind of full complement of inflation of information that we're getting and making assessments in real time about the right thing to do. So basically just keeping the door open for, you know further rate hikes. Since Collins will not be a voting member of the rate-setting Federal Open Market Committee until 2025. So good thing is, she's not a voter. So it really doesn't matter what her opinion is, and that's probably why the markets did not react uh, super negatively to that, because she's not voting anyways. Now, Ford union workers have ratified a new UAW deal, closing out historic negotiations with Detroit automakers. And this is for 25% wage increases, there there is some concern that this could cause more inflation out there, right, over the next couple of years, but as of right now, not affecting our markets. Ray Dalio sees the U.S. reaching an inflection point where the debt problem quickly gets even worse. Soaring U.S. government debt is reaching a point where it will begin creating larger problems, Bridgewater Associates founder Ray Dalio said Friday. Economically strong means financially strong, Dalio said on CNBC's Squawk Box. The government spent $659 billion on net interest cost in fiscal 2023 to finance the debt, Dalio said. That is a recipe for disaster. Financially strong means do you earn more than you spend? Do you have a good income statement as a country? And do we have a good balance sheet? The U.S. is $33.7 trillion in debt, a total that exploded by 45% since the COVID pandemic in early 2020, according to Treasury Department data. Of that total, $26.7 trillion is owned by, by the public. Last year, the government rang up a $1.7 trillion deficit as it sought to keep up the pace of spending. As the debt built up and the Federal Reserve rates interest rates to try, try to tamp down inflation, the government spent $659 billion on net in, interest cost in fiscal 2023 to finance the debt. Dalio said that is a recipe for trouble. Quote, the worse that gets, the more we are going to have that long-term problem, he said. You can see it in the numbers. It's just a matter of numbers. We are near that inflection point. Basic budget issues. Dalio has cautioned that foreign buyers who make up about 40% of demand for U.S. Treasuries have been backing off, creating a supply-demand problem. Data through January indicates that foreign holdings of U.S. government debt total $7.4 trillion, down $253 billion, or 3.3% over the past year. China, in particular, has cut its holdings strongly, pulling back 17% during the period. You want to keep spending at the same level, there's the need to get more and more into debt. The way that works, it accelerates, Dalio said. We are at the point of acceleration which creates the supply-demand problem. It's made worse by other issues that we're talking about, the internal political issue, the internal social conflict issue. This is a nut. Good news. Especially the fact that foreign governments are cutting back on U.S. debt uh, yeah, that eventually means the dollar could be in trouble if that continues to happen, especially at this pace. Now, let's go ahead and get into what in the world's going on with AMC stock today. Again, like I said, I think it's digestion from this dilution, possibly dilution even still ongoing. Um, but overall, if you look at the options market, about $15,000 worth of trades from hedge fund and hedge funds and institutional investors with a positive order value of 100%. If you're looking at retail, slightly less bullish than what we've seen recently, about 55% uh, volume to the call side, 45% volume to the put side. Take a look at these short interest numbers. 
uh, let's see, 9.78% short interest of refloat, $142.95 million worth of short positions, days to cover 0.84, 19.34 million shares that are currently sold short, uh, shares out on loan, 18.32 million, cost of borrow, 1.31%, utilization of 42.24%, and a short score of 58.86 out of 100, and you do have, um, what looks like cost of our average 1.71% and a cost of our max of 8.6%. So nothing too crazy, spectacular, nothing's moving around all too much. Today into the close of the day could be pretty volatile. If you look at the stock tracker data, you do have about 1,600 calls currently in the money. Out the money calls at 166,000, puts in the money about 34,000, and puts out the money of about 41,000. So there is a lot of option activity here for this week. Uh, you know, that, that could get pretty volatile towards the end of the day today. That is something I am watching pretty closely. We will see ultimately. There's really not any news on AMC stock today as well. Nothing that, uh, you know, is, is new that would explain why the stock is underperforming today. Nonetheless, a look at what your commodities are doing and your bonds. TLT is up about 1% today. USO is up almost 4% today. Ouch, that is not good. The dollar is down 0.39%. That is great news. And gold is basically flat on the day. That is good news as well. Total call volume today for AMC stock is 41,690. Uh, Total puts volume 32,310. The ask are above 19,890. The ask are above 15,000. Uh, 470 for the put side. So calls do look, uh, again, pretty strong today. Calls, a lot of calls at the 750 strike, the 750 call. So it wouldn't surprise me to see that move towards the end of the day to around 750. That would put us into positive territory. And there is a lot of activity at the $7 put as well. These are expiring um, over the next couple of weeks, not just for this Friday. So uh, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this information down below in the comment section. Hit that like button subscribe to the channel and source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section thank you for watching congratulations to everyone that hit the amat trade with us the applied materials trade last night that was a couple hundred percent winner as well stringing together uh some quite quite the winners recently if you guys would like to come join us link down below in the description of this video thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one